All right, ladies and gentlemen, grade six, we are talking about area involving multiple inscribed figures, and I do like these. These are fun because they're always a little bit of a puzzle. There's some different types here. There's some different types, and they are a puzzle. This one, I am being asked to find the area of the shaded region, and we've done some shaded region ones before. We are looking to see what it takes just to fill in this area that's been shaded in here, all of them together. We thought, oh my goodness, these are weird shapes. How do we do it? And just like last time, we do it by decomposing the shape. So here what we have is I actually have a rectangle, and I'm going to find the area of this entire rectangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract from that rectangle three circles. So three multiplied one circle. And so I'm just going to draw out like this. This is area of the rectangle. Subtract three times the area of the circle. I'm getting used to this new program, so my circles and rectangles are really not great. I apologize for that. So what I need to figure out, the distance from here to here is four centimeters. And that gets me down to when I'm looking for the area, though. My formula for area, if I remember is I need pi multiplied by my radius squared. And if I take a look at this four centimeters, that's the distance all the way across my circle. That's my diameter is four centimeters. So what's my radius? It's half of it. My radius has to be half or two centimeters. So I'm just gonna write up to the top radius equals two centimeters. And then we're going to keep that in mind. Uh, so when I look at the dimensions of my rectangle, I already have one of them. My height is four centimeters. And we say, oh my goodness, it does not actually tell us explicitly. It does not directly tell us how far it is from there to there. Oh, but it does. Because I know that my circle, by definition of a circle, it's equidistant all the way across wherever I draw my line. So that is four centimeters. And this is another four centimeters. And this is another four centimeters. And so I get to a total of four plus four plus four is 12. 12 centimeters. So that brings me to my area. So my area already, I can just figure out four times 12 is 48. 48 square centimeters. Okay, so that is the area of my rectangle. Now I need to move over here to my circle. And so I'm going to use three multiplied by, and I need my, my formula here. Uh, it's gonna be the radius squared. And so two times itself, two times two. And then I'm gonna multiply that by pi. And the problem does say we don't need exact right now. We need a 3.14 approximation. We'll multiply that by 3.14. One four. Uh, so I'm going to bring my calculator up, and we're going to take three, because it's three circles times two squared, two times two, times three point one four, and I get thirty seven point sixty eight. Thirty seven point sixty eight. Okay. So I get thirty seven point sixty eight. And that is also centimeters squared. So here, if I finish my equation, it's 48 minus 37.68. Just using the help of a calculator here to make this process go a little quicker, I end up with 10.32. So I end up with 10.32 centimeters squared. Excellentness. That is the answer. Let's do one more that looks a little bit different. One, uh, two of the other types that you're going to see here on Alex, and we're not gonna, I'm not gonna solve them both for you. But what I am gonna do is I'm going to help you set them up um, a little bit. Uh, so uh, what we're gonna do is just take a look at these real quick and think about how you might solve one of these problems. I'm getting the layer set up. Uh, the one on the left, there's something you see perhaps you see some things in the corner. These are problem number one and problem number two here of additional ones that we might use. So if you notice, again, we're being asked to find the shaded area. And how might you do that? You need to take this rectangle, the area of this rectangle here, 
and then you're going to subtract off all this white space. And if you look, that this is kind of like a circle. It is actually a portion of a circle, and you might say, well, what portion of a circle is this? Well, this is one-fourth of a circle, and this is also one-fourth of a circle. This is actually one-fourth of a circle, and what happens when you take four pieces of one-fourth, you get an entire circle. This is actually, if, you, if I take a look at it here, this is actually going to be four corners of a circle. This is an entire circle. So the setup here again is square. This is a square, subtract, circle. I'm going to take this off here so we see square, subtract, circle. And so my dimensions, of course, here is 8 and 8. And the question is, well, what's the radius of my circle? What's the radius of the circle? And you'll notice that from the center to the radius, it's always half of my diameter. So if that is the case, then I would have a radius of Four. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to finish this problem. I'll leave it up to you to finish. I'm actually going to ask you to do so in the Edpuzzle video. Please continue this problem and solve using the formula for area. Area equals radius times itself times pi, and of course you know that the area of a rectangle is length times width. Square as well. Problem number two that I'm going to ask you to solve is this one here. And this again, if you see this. Uh, this is, again, going to be rectangle, the area of my rectangle. I'll do this one in green here. The area of my rectangle, I'm really having trouble getting nice straight lines. Well, that's a little better. Area of my rectangle, subtract some pieces of a circle. And if you see here, this is, this is half of a circle. This is another half of a circle. This is another half of a circle, and so you might say that this is the same as one and a half circles. One and a half multiplied by the area of one circle. All right, well, I need to split some things up here. This is one, the setup on this one's a little bit different because I'm told that the entire distance is 72, and I need to figure out, well, what is the radius of my circle? Well, let's split this 72 up into three pieces. 72 divided by 3 goes in 2 times 6. I'm left with 12, and it's 24. So my radius or my diameter of each of these circles is 24. 24. 24, which means my radius of all of these circles is half of that, which is 12, 12 centimeters. So the distance across the middle is 12. Okay, now that I know that the distance across the middle is 12, uh, what would I do to set this up? Now this one I'm going to take the next step. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rectangle, and I, I, I know this is 72, but you know what? Actually, the height I don't know directly, except that I've already figured out that my distance across, and that's a really not very good straight line distance. Let's try that again. My distance across here is 12. So I know that the height of my rectangle is also 12. I can multiply 72 times 12 together to get that area of that rectangle. And I'm going to subtract 1.5 times the area of my circle. And the area of a circle, of course, is pi. We're going to use 3.14 times the radius, which is 12, squared. So times 12 times 12. Now, I'm going to leave the rest of this unsolved. Uh, please answer below, and let's figure out how many would be inside this shaded region here. All right, right below. Good luck.